Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, Charlemagne gave Donkey the day to who? Uh, Haribo, the candy company that makes all the gummy stuff, the gummy bears, the gummy worms, the gummy snakes, all of that kind of stuff. Twin snakes, gold bears, sour screamers, star mix, everything. Mm-hmm. So Charlemagne uh, said that... Uh, well, well, what happened was there was a guy named uh, RNRG. He found the $4.7 million check. Uh, that a supermarket had made out the horrible. Now, mind you, he couldn't do anything with the check. It's not like he could cash it or anything like that. But he did reach out to the company, told the company that he had the check. The company told him to destroy the check, send them proof. He did that, and as compensation, they sent him six packs of Haribo products. Mm. So a bunch of candy. Good. I, I now, mean- now, now, the guy says that, you know, this isn't... Uh, Suitable. He expected more. Now, I'm the type of person that if I do something for you, I'm doing it because I want to do it. I'm not expecting anything in return. But I think there should always be an exception when you're a, 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 a rich person with a whole lot of money involved and somebody finds it, whether it's cash or a check. Even though it's a check you can't cash, compensate them financially, bro. See, I, I don't agree. See, it's not money. It's not a wallet. It's not a driver's license. It's a check that he can't do nothing with. He can't cash it. If he cash it, he's going to jail. Well, so, he can't cash it because he can't cash it. Right. He ain't horrible. Right. So he can't cash it. And if he tries to cash it, just throw it in his account or change the name, he's going to jail. But it's the so, principle, man. They gave him six bags of candy. Man, and he, well, he's, di- right. he's diabetic. You guys are missing the whole point here. What? Which candy did they send? It did looked they like, send the no, ginger lemon? The what? The what? The ginger lemon Haribo. Those are my favorites. The gummies. Also the peaches. The peaches. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, and I then see. just the regular gummy bears are good too. Which candy did they send? I don't know. The and they have pops. also the sour like. gummy bears, which are amazing. I like the sour gummy bears. I, I rock with those. Now, this if they would have sent me the ginger lemon ones, the sour gummy bears, and also... Yeah, it doesn't matter. You, you sound peaches. Like a fat, we sound like fat asses. Now, if they would have gave me some I didn't want... Like there's some that I don't like that they the berries I'll pass on that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't rock with the berries. Either. The what fuzzy, the fizzy diabetic, cola. Y'all. No thanks. What if he's like, diabetic? Who needs a fizzy cola gummy? That's My disgusting. kids love the. Colas. Who needs candy when you're diabetic? So what? So what? Would give you it do away. Do you think they should have gave this man some money? I mean, I don't. No, I don't really think so. No, me neither. It's not like it was cash and he returned the cash. Exactly. It, it was a wallet. It was a check that was mistakenly mailed out and he couldn't really do anything. Oh, no, anyway. you found it on the train. Uh, well, he found Oh, I wasn't mm-hmm. in the room. He found it on the train. So it's not like you could do anything with it. It's a crime. Hello, who's this? Hello, What's up, bro? You think you should have got some money for it? Yeah, man. I mean, you know, he could have took that check and took it to the ARAS, man. What they gonna do with that what, check? I never heard this. What, what they would have done? You cannot say that. They, okay, it's Arab, Arab too, by the way. It's uh, Arab. Arab, sorry. Right. They could have. They would have just put his name on the back and, and took their cut. For real? And then they would have checked and the they, cameras and found out jail. who they checked it, and they all would have gotten in trouble for that. See? See they would have. They would have got that money. All you gotta do is. Take the check to the Arabs. Take the chance. Take that chance. Take that chance, chance. Take that chance you, if you when, want. Whenever you hear somebody start off some saying all you got to do is <laughs> going to jail. 99.9% chance you're going to jail. Hello, who's this? What's up? What's up? It's Chris, Columbus, Ohio. What's Chris, up? What's morning. up? What, you, you think they should have gave him some money? Man, so at first, Envy, I was agreeing with you, right? Mm-mm. But then in, in today's world, we got so many schemers. Yes. So just Charlemagne, you right. So, like, listen, for the fact that he was honest and he gave it back, like, if he would have hit the right schemers, man, they could have took him up top. That's right. They could, they, you can't, can't you should, cash a check listen, that's not yours. When it comes to money, you should absolutely reward people for doing the right thing. <laughs> because it encourages other people to do the right thing when they find money he and stuff like that. couldn't do anything this. with it. He I found know. a check, not cash. I know, but still, it's just the principle, man. Mm, $4.7 million. They did reward him. Not no candy. They did. Hello, who's this? I'm Ginger Lemons. Hello, this is Nicole. Hey, Nicole, talk to us. So I think that time is money. You know, you go to work, you exchange your time for somebody to pay you. Right. They could have, they would have had to take more time out of their, you know, company time 
request another check, wait for that check to get there. They didn't have to do that. He saved them time by using his own time, so they should have paid him for that. They still had to do and, it because he had and, to destroy and, the check. Yeah, he but didn't that's, send my, the check in. That's labor. That's, but that's labor. You asked me to do a job. Yeah, You're a company. Haribo said, destroy the check I'm and like, send me proof. The that's check, labor. The gummies was worth the six packs of gummies. That wasn't even minimum wage if y'all was going to pay me a livable wage. That that's is right. minimum wage. That's the right. pack would be like $3 a pack. Nope. Six times three, eighteen dollars Eighteen dollars an hour. H- it took 20 minutes to do that. Haribo asked me to do a job. I completed the job. Uh, pay me some bread, bro. 800 585 1051. Charlemagne gave Donkey today to Haribo. I, I know I'm saying that name all wrong. Because a, a gentleman found a check to Haribo on a train and sent it in on a the check street. for $4.7 million. Mind right. you, he couldn't cash it or nothing because nope. it's made out to Haribo. But the fact that he called the company, told the company he found the check, and then the company asked him to destroy it and send them proof. So they asked him to do some labor. I wouldn't even have did all that. I just would have been like, all right. I'd have left it there. I wouldn't have said no proof of nothing. I'd have left it there too, knowing if all I thought all I, I knew was gonna get some damn up. candy. 800 585 1051 Charlemagne gave Haribo the donkey today. What's your thoughts? Let's talk about it. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, if you just joined us, Charlemagne gave Donkey today to who? Uh, Haribo. And the reason I gave it to Haribo is because there's a guy named Anwar G. He found a check for $4.7 million that was made uh, from a, a German supermarket made out to Haribo. Now, mind you, he couldn't cash it or nothing, but he did call Haribo and told him he found the check. Haribo told him to destroy the check, send him proof that he destroyed it. He did that, and then as compensation, they sent him six packs of Haribo products. I don't want no damn candy in a situation like that. I need some money. And I ain't even talking no millions of dollars. I ain't even talking hundreds of thousands. I ain't talking tens of thousands. Just somehow financially compensate me, bro. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Wolfie, man, from Orlando, Florida. Talk to us, Wolfie. Wolfie. What's your thoughts? Listen, man, I feel like, I feel like I, I, I kind of understand where Charlamagne come from, you feel me? But at the end of the day, Envy, you're right. It is a check. You can't really do nothing with a check. And if I would have got candy, I got kids, I would have just, you know what I mean? Here's some exactly. Yes, yes, see? See? That, that's what, that's what wrong. That's, 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 why you, that's why them kids so hyper now. And then when they can't go to sleep at night, when they can't go to sleep, and your and your wife is mad at you because you didn't get them kids candy at nine o'clock. Get them one piece. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, brother. All right, take care, y'all. Peace. Hello, who's this? This is Shikari. Hey, Shikari. Good morning. Hey, Andy. Hey, Peace, Shikari. There. What's your thoughts? Talk to us. I agree with Charlamagne simply because we live in a world where people are always getting angry over own people. And you remember that time, Envy, you accidentally cashed out the wrong person? I don't remember their money back. But that's probably why because they knew you wasn't going to report you. That's right. I did get that money back and I definitely reported it. I definitely reported that too. I sent it to the wrong person and I got I got it back. Did they send it back? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, they didn't send it back. Yeah, uh, somebody did. Yeah, they didn't send it back. But she's no right, one that though. gets a cash app sends the money back. They didn't ever. send you the money back because they know you wasn't going to get them no compensation for it. My goodness. That's man. why I had them boys in Orangeburg steal your money for Shut that up, car, man. too. Did you? I believe you, too, man. I believe you. <laughs> now, I thought you weren't supposed to do something with the intent of trying to get something in return. You shouldn't. But when it comes to money, if you find money or, you know, you help somebody get some money back, yes, I think that the person should compensate you financially. Hello, who's this? My name's Rocky, man. What's going on, guys? Rocky. Rocky so I had a situation. I, I can't believe I agree with uh, with Charlemagne, but yeah, it's a big hell now. Nah. Well, Scott, I'm sorry. I apologize. I agree. Yeah, envy. It's a hell now. Nah. You, I, I ain't returning nothing. That's number one. What? I had a situation back in this. I ain't returning a damn thing. No, I returned I... fifty grand. Mm-hmm. I, re- I returned fifty grand to a, a company. Um, you know, back in the day when they had the pickups and everything with the armor car people. Yeah. I returned fifty grand because he dropped it. We ain't get a damn thing. Not a damn thing. So I'll never return anything ever in my life. So hold on. So you returned fifty grand from an armored truck company, and they didn't give you nothing. There's no reward for that. Zero. Not even. Barely a thank you. Barely a thank you. So let me he ask you a question. That he lost the bag. So where did you find the money? In the mall. Oh, I used so to they, be a security guard at the mall. So there was cameras there. Now, was there really fifty well, thousand in that bag, or was there? Like, we, we talking. We talking back in the day. I, I don't even think there were cameras back then. What? 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 Tell me what year the nineteen hundreds. <laughs> exactly. It was probably about ninety five, ninety six. Oh man, you could have got that off. 
Yeah, you exactly. I would've, you would've had to return like 40,000 just say, I don't know what happened to the rest. <laughs> or you probably just kept the whole thing. But that's why people do stuff like that, because they can't trust folks to do the right thing in regards to compensation. So I they take a little bit off you. the top. But there's times where you have to do oh. the right thing. The guy couldn't cash that check. I still think Haribo should have uh, gave him some money. All right, well, what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is uh, I heard an overwhelming amount of people say Haribo is dead ass wrong. <laughs> okay, the jury has spoken. Haribo should have gave him a little bit of financial compensation. I ain't even talking about no tens of thousands. Of, I'm just saying like, yo, a couple thousand dollars. Or some candy. No. <laughs> All right, well, we got rumors on the way. Yes, and imagine that you're on the stand in court and they ask you to fake an orgasm. We'll tell you what happened. This is traumatizing. All right, we'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.